Have you ever wondered about the different types of farming? It's a fascinating world, rich in history, diversity, and innovation. Indeed, farming is as old as civilization itself, and it continues to evolve in response to our changing needs and the challenges of our time. Farming is not just about growing food and raising livestock. It's about sustaining life, preserving traditions, fostering communities, and shaping landscapes. It's also about nurturing the soil, the water, the air, and the countless creatures that share our planet. In this video, we will explore the many types of farming that exist around the world. From the humblest backyard garden to the vastest industrial farm, from the ancient methods that have stood the test of time to the cutting-edge techniques that promise a sustainable future. We will delve into the science, the art, and the philosophy of farming. We will unravel its complexities, its challenges, and its rewards. We will start with traditional farming, the backbone of our food system for millennia. We will then move on to organic farming, a holistic approach that seeks to harmonize with nature rather than dominate it. Next, we will venture into the vertical realm, where farming reaches for the sky, defying space constraints and urban sprawl. And finally, we will plunge into the world of hydroponics, where plants grow without soil, nourished by nutrient-rich water and basking in artificial light. Whether you're a prospective farmer seeking guidance, a farming enthusiast eager to expand your knowledge, or simply a curious mind interested in the world around you, this video is for you. We hope it will inspire you, enlighten you, and perhaps even spur you to action. Stay tuned as we delve deep into the world of farming. But before we do, remember to like our video and subscribe to Farming Know How for more enlightening content. First up, let's tackle the basics. Traditional farming. Delving into the roots of agriculture, traditional farming is the earliest form of farming known to humankind. It has been practiced for thousands of years, dating all the way back to the first agricultural revolution when our ancestors transitioned from a nomadic lifestyle to settled farming communities. Traditional farming is characterized by its reliance on natural resources. This means using the sun for light and heat, the rain for water, and the soil for nutrients. It's a type of farming that requires a profound understanding of the land and the seasons. Farmers would plant and harvest crops according to the natural cycles of the environment, nurturing the soil with organic matter and rotating crops to prevent soil exhaustion. This method of farming is still prevalent in many parts of the world today, especially in rural areas where farming practices have been handed down through generations. From the rice terraces of Southeast Asia to the wheat fields of the American Midwest, traditional farming continues to feed millions around the globe. However, like any other method, traditional farming has its pros and cons. On the plus side, it's a sustainable practice that works in harmony with nature, preserving biodiversity and maintaining soil health. It's also a source of cultural heritage, preserving age-old farming techniques and knowledge that have been passed down through generations. On the downside, traditional farming can be labor-intensive and yield less produce compared to modern farming methods. It's also more susceptible to weather changes and pests, which can lead to crop failures and food shortages. Despite these challenges, traditional farming continues to play a vital role in global food production. It's a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of farmers who have cultivated the land for centuries, adapting to changes and overcoming obstacles along the way. While traditional farming has its place, the evolution of farming techniques has led to a variety of other farming types. Next, we explore the increasingly popular organic farming. Organic farming is more than just a trend, it's a return to traditional farming principles with a modern twist. This method of farming emphasizes the health of the soil, the ecosystem, and people. It relies on natural processes and cycles, shunning synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and genetically modified organisms. The principles of organic farming are quite simple, yet profound. The first is to promote ecological balance. This means working with nature rather than against it, using techniques such as crop rotation and intercropping to maintain soil fertility and control pests. The second principle is to conserve biodiversity. Organic farms are often teeming with a variety of plants, insects, and animals, all playing their part in a healthy ecosystem. The third principle is to maintain soil health. Healthy soil is rich in organic matter and microorganisms, which help to nourish plants and fight off diseases. But why the buzz around organic farming? Well, it offers a plethora of benefits. For one, it's better for the environment, reducing pollution and promoting biodiversity. For consumers, organic produce is often more nutritious and free from harmful chemicals. For farmers, it reduces dependency on expensive synthetic inputs, 
and can even yield higher profits due to the growing demand for organic produce. However, organic farming is not without its challenges. It can be more labor-intensive and yields can be lower, especially in the early years as the soil rebuilds its fertility. But many of these challenges can be overcome with proper planning and management. For instance, cover crops and compost can improve soil health, while diversifying crops can boost resilience against pests and diseases. Despite these challenges, the potential rewards of organic farming are immense. Not only can it provide a sustainable livelihood for farmers, but it also contributes to a healthier planet and a healthier population. Organic farming, with its focus on sustainability, certainly offers a promising future. Moving on, let's look at an innovative type of farming, vertical farming. Vertical farming, put simply, is the practice of producing food on vertically inclined surfaces. Instead of farming vegetables and other foods on a single level, such as in a field or a greenhouse, this method produces foods in vertically stacked layers, commonly integrated into other structures like a skyscraper, shipping container or repurposed warehouse. With the world's population growing steadily, the demand for food is ever increasing. And that's where vertical farming steps in. It maximizes production by using less land. Imagine stacking multiple greenhouses on top of each other. That's vertical farming in a nutshell. But how does it work? Well, vertical farming often incorporates controlled environment agriculture, which aims to optimize plant growth with LED lighting that mimics sunlight. It also uses soilless farming techniques like hydroponics, aeroponics, and aquaponics. These methods can cut down water usage by up to 70% compared to traditional farming methods. The advantages of vertical farming are numerous. It's not weather dependent, it can be performed year round, it uses less water, it's space efficient, and it could reduce the need for pesticides. But it's not all rosy. Vertical farming comes with its own set of challenges. The initial costs can be high due to the need for sophisticated equipment and technology, and it's energy intensive. To grow crops indoors, you need a lot of electricity, primarily for lighting and temperature control. But here's the good news. New technologies and practices are being developed to make vertical farming more sustainable and cost-effective. For instance, the use of renewable energy sources to power the operations, or optimizing the LED light spectrum for different crops to enhance growth and save energy. Vertical farming, though a relatively new concept, could revolutionize farming in urban environments. It holds the promise of urban self-sustainability, food security, and the potential to turn the tide on climate change. So, as we move forward, vertical farming could play a crucial role in feeding the world's growing population. Now let's dive into another modern farming technique, hydroponic farming. Hydroponic farming, simply put, is a method of growing plants without soil. Instead, plants are nurtured in nutrient-rich water. It sounds futuristic, doesn't it? Well, it's not entirely new. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon and the Floating Gardens of China are some early instances of hydroponic practices. The benefits of hydroponic farming are plentiful. For starters, it allows for a higher crop yield per square foot compared to traditional farming. This is because plants can be stacked vertically, making it a perfect solution for urban farming. It also uses up to 90% less water than conventional farming, as the water in the system is recycled. Another advantage is the control it offers. Variables like nutrients, pH, and moisture can be meticulously managed, reducing the chances of crop disease and pest infestation. Also, as there's no soil involved, soil-borne diseases are practically non-existent. But like any other farming method, hydroponic farming has its challenges. Setting up a hydroponic farm requires a significant initial investment. The cost of the hydroponic system, lighting, temperature control, and other related equipment can be quite high. Moreover, hydroponic farming requires a lot of knowledge and skill. You need to understand the nutritional needs of each plant, know how to maintain the right pH balance, and be able to troubleshoot any issues that may arise. Nevertheless, these challenges can be mitigated. For instance, there are numerous resources available, both online and offline, to help you learn the ropes of hydroponic farming. As for the cost, remember that the high yield and efficiency of this farming method can make up for the initial investment in the long run. Hydroponic farming, with its potential for high yields and efficient use of water, is another promising avenue for farming. So, if you're considering a modern approach to agriculture, hydroponics might just be the ticket. As we've seen, the world of farming is diverse and continually evolving. It's a universe teeming with endless possibilities and opportunities, constantly adapting to our changing world. From the traditional methods that have fed generations to innovative techniques that promise to feed the future, 
Each approach to farming has its unique characteristics and advantages. In the realm of traditional farming, we've seen how it's deeply rooted in our history and culture. It's a testament to our enduring relationship with the land, a testament to the perseverance of those who work from dawn to dusk, nurturing the soil and reaping its bountiful rewards. Then we explored the world of organic farming, a practice that emphasizes the health of the soil and the environment. This type of farming is a commitment to sustainability, a promise to leave the earth better than we found it. It's about growing food in harmony with nature, respecting the intricate balance of our ecosystems. We also dived into the future with vertical farming, a revolutionary concept that challenges our traditional notions of what a farm can be. This type of farming is about making the most of our urban spaces, growing food where people live and work. It's about bringing the farm to the city, creating a future where fresh local produce is a reality for everyone. And lastly, we delved into the world of hydroponic farming, a technique that harnesses the power of water to grow plants without soil. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a demonstration of our ability to adapt and innovate. With hydroponics, we can grow food in places where traditional farming is impossible, opening up new frontiers in food production. Each of these farming methods, in their own way, contribute to the fascinating tapestry of agriculture. They illustrate the importance of understanding the different types of farming, whether you're a prospective farmer or simply curious about where your food comes from. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the different types of farming. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Farming Know-How for more farming-related content. Until next time, keep growing!